I'm Sal. I'm Beth. We're the brewery lovers. Indiana and Michigan, because we did them both in the same day. Yes. We were right on the Not border. Not the whole state, just no. a little fragment of yes, each. Yes, fragment of each. Uh, actually, only two breweries. One was an accident. Correct. So we wanted to go to Indiana Dunes State Park. Really interesting place. Um, these massive dunes, are the, they're, they're, they're bigger than the camera kind of... Uh, shows i don't know correct weird but they're bigger than the sand dunes in new jersey definitely bigger than the sand dunes in new jersey on lake uh michigan michigan yeah because if you look across this lake you see this like what looks like a floating city it's like way out in the distance what is that it's chicago Chicago. yeah we got out the binoculars it's like ah you can see the sears tower (laughs) or whatever they call it now nice park we did a little walk there a little hiking so then we're driving to Michigan because we had a uh, brewery in mind on the Michigan border, and we came across this place, uh, Shoreline. Shoreline. Is that what it's called? In Michigan City. Michigan City, Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Indiana City, Michigan. I don't know that there is such a thing. We really just ducked in there to have a Zoom meeting with uh, the brewery back in New Jersey. <laughs> He's like, are you guys in a brewery? <laughs> We're like, um, are you guys yeah. drinking? <laughs> he goes, oh, I guess I'll go get a beer then. <laughs> he was in his brewery. We were in that one. Kind of a um, full bar restaurant kind of place. And they also had a brewery inside. So we're like, wow, what the heck? We're here. Yeah. And um, tidy little brewery. And I'll tell you what, the beer tender was great. She really was. Jessica? I, what? Maybe. I trust mm-hmm. you. Yeah. What did we like there? Well, they had an oatmeal stout that I really like called Singing Sands, which is appropriate because it's right near mm. Indiana Dunes. Um, and I like it when the name of the the beer makes me look things up. Oh, yeah, Beltane. I Beltane. remember that Beltane. I didn't know what Beltane was. And it's uh, Gaelic May Day. Gaelic May Day. So it's like the Irish first day of summer. So it was a Scottish ale. Uh, yeah. It's the so I think Gaelic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. Um, and they had a beer called some nug, some nug. <laughs> which was summit and nugget hops and i really like nugget hops yeah and the beer tender was phenomenal that's huge you know we I've, I've written about this this idea of hangability um we've been to breweries where we, we've been to breweries where the beer was just like 100 percent perfect and the beer tender was like <laughs> not <laughs> the beer tender not was so, like not sociable not interested in not, engaging with um yeah the patrons. like not even in the room it's crazy and I, I don't know. It kind of diminishes the experience, I think. It does. It's it's really the most fun when you have somebody that you can talk to and get some information, get some insight that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And that really is, those of you who do this, that really is part of the craft brewery experience. You go to these breweries and you want to kind of talk about beer, right? Uh, we're beer nerds. That's what we do. And sometimes the beer tenders are just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's rare. It is rare. And it's really rare when the beer is really good. That was a weird juxtaposition. We're not going to mention the name. But boy, the, nope. Yeah. What, a, what the beer was incredible. Uh, beer tender, not so much. This place just, this place was, the beer was okay and the beer tender was amazing. So. Yep. And we had the house flight, which included six different beers. And the uh, glasses were adorable. They were like these little, little old, mini pint old glasses. fashioned. Uh, no, no, they were more. They were like diner water glasses. Okay. They also had a pinball machine. <laughs> I can't resist. <laughs> I stink, but I can't resist. So uh, you know, got they got my quarters. You're better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but this was this kind of was the destination of the the other destination of the day after the park was this uh, brewery called Seeds. So can I open their beer? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> See, you told me. Brent, make, let me open the beer. What do we got? It's called Paddler. Yeah, what is it? It's an ale with peach and cardamom. So that so sounds like a seeds I've been, beer. Doesn't it? Yeah. So I've been looking forward to trying this one because that sounds very interesting. Um, the seeds was very highly rated, and um, that was our destination. Yeah, that was a 395 on untapped. Was it really that high? Mm-hmm. Wow. So, uh, you guys have heard this before. We're always, always, always talking about the Seed Brewery in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The Seed, a living beer project. It's not actually called a brewery. Um, that's a different story. <laughs> um, 
So we walk in this place, and it's, number one, it's called Seeds. Number two, it's very highly rated. Number three, they had all this, like, um, they had a lot of saison kind of beers. and They don't do flights. <laughs> they don't do flights. They had a side pour with uh, Pilsner going on it. That's nice looking beer. Look at that. And this peach smells, and what? Peach and cardamom. Cardamom. Smell yeah, the yeah. cardamom? That's the cardamom is, hits you right away. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. It's a little, little bit tart. I don't know if that's fermentation or fruit. It's really nice. It's super dry too. That's I thought it, 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 you smell it and you think it's going to be sweet because you get all that cardamom fragrance and a little bit of peach, but it's not out at all. What's the ABV? It's like almost uh, none. Three. Three percent. Also wow. very seed like. How many uh, how many breweries make a three percent beer? That's very unusual. It's nice. It's tasty. Wouldn't be my daily driver, but it's nice. It is. It's very pleasant. So we're in this place, and we're like, "Wow, this is like the Seed West almost." And but the name, you know, it's Seed Seeds, and they had so much in common. So I get I get on the phone, and I'm texting the owners of the Seed. Kiddingly, I'm just trying to make them laugh. Hey, we found this place in Michigan. They're stealing your whole idea. But, you know, you guys have similar beers. They're called the Seeds, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Amanda, one of the owners of the Seed, writes back right away. We love those guys. Tell them we said hello. <laughs> of course, they already knew each other probably from social media. So, Lord, fortunately, the owner was there. Yep. And we got his attention and we told him that story. And he's like, oh, my God, you're going, you're going back, right? Like, yeah, we're, we're going to be going back. And he just loaded us up with beer. To so take to Amanda. We actually show. delivered beer uh, from seeds to the seed <laughs> in New Jersey. <laughs> that was uh, kind of a fun, kind of a fun day. But cool place, really, uh, really nice place. Uh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, right? I don't even... I don't even remember the name of the town. It was uh, Union Pier. Right over the border from Indiana. And dogs everywhere. Yeah. Dogs to greet us. And, uh, yeah, it was definitely a brewery, a, a brewery of dogs. <laughs> Best trying to get this one. He was like, I want to pet, I want you to pet me, but I want to kill you. He was confused. Really nice place. Lots of uh, live, live edge wood on the bar. This beer tender was very good. Yep, absolutely. And uh, lots of stuff on tap and all kinds of unique things. What did we like there? Uh, we liked everything we tried. Farmer's Dream was a 4.5% American Pale Ale. A little Zwickle Tickle. <laughs> I think that's the one you had off the side for. The Zwickle is the little sample spigot on the fermenter in the brewery. So that's a cute name for a beer. I really liked it. It was called Let's Drink. It was a Doppelbach. Okay. And we had a catcher, the, the catcher, Amber Rye. Oh, yeah, Amber Rye. Un, yeah, unusual. Uh, usually, rye Pale Ale is what you usually see. Right. So, um, anyway, we had a great time you know, chatting with the owner. He, he was busy. We didn't keep him long. But he just started, lo when he just started loading us up with bottles, that it was hysterical, including, like, a big... <laughs> yes, our, we had a, a lot of uh, re refrigerator space dedicated yeah, to delivering to new jersey uh they also did on their own bracket i'm looking at this Th these are all their beers so it wasn't a it wasn't a brewery against a brewery it was just their beers yeah i think it was just what people liked yeah. so people do this in uh, around march madness in the spring which must that's when we were there obviously so uh the pilsners were superb look at the head on those yeah, pilsners that was God, gorgeous. they were just perfect Anyway, a really a wonderful gem of a brewery um, in uh, Michigan, right? Michigan. Yeah, we were on the Michigan <laughs> side of the border, and just a, a beautiful beers. They really, they really were. Uh, they were all all the ones we had were superb, and obviously they're doing really well on Untapped. So a lot of other people agree. Yep. Put that on your list. Good. Good. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>